so I thought it'd be a good idea to do a video on a gold chain buying guide. I've been receiving a lot of questions on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube where people are trying to buy their very first gold chain, but they don't know where to start. They don't know what millimeter to get, what kind of design. So hopefully this video is helpful. Now, for the most part, everything I'm gonna show you here is solid gold, but I do have a couple things here that are Vermeer pieces, meaning that it's sterling silver as the base, and then it's plated with gold, just in case you're looking for a more affordable option. But just to let you know, if you had a choice between Vermeer and solid gold, I would say save up for the solid piece because that is something that will not fade and you can literally pass it down for generations. Now, before I even get into the designs of what to get, there's at least here in the United States, you see two of the most popular carat choices are 10 carat and 14 carat. Sometimes you see 18 carat and very rarely do you see anything upwards of 22 carat. Now with 10 carat solid gold, you're getting, I believe, 41.7% gold purity, which means that 47.1% of that chain is gold. And then the rest of it is mixed with other alloys. Now, some people love 10 karat because they find it to be more durable, whereas others find it to be fake gold because it's not even 50% solid gold, you know? So make the choice of your own. And there are color differences between these. Now, for me personally, I don't own any 10 karat pieces and nor am I planning to add them to my collection. So for me, it's not my preference. Now, 14 karat is, if you had to choose between 10 karat and 14, I would say go with 14. Now, 14 karat, I believe is 58.5% solid gold. So you have, you know, you have over 50% there and then the rest of that is mixed with the alloys. An example of that is this 14 karat three millimeter rope chain and this one is from jacoji you can also get it at like hawaii rope chains if you want free shipping but 14 karat is a great starting place if you don't know what to grab for now this was actually my very first solid gold chain i got it back in july when i got it hit with the gold fever i was like oh my gosh these look so sick i want my own gold chain and at that point or before that point i was wearing like verme you know i was wearing the uh silver plated with gold and i was like you know what i want something solid gold so this was my very first pickup and instantly i could tell the difference between this and the plated pieces like this is the authentic color of 14 karat and if you see other 14 karat pieces that are plated usually they look a bit darker so you can you know they kind of look like 18 karat sometimes they look 22 karat so just be careful with the plating now 14, really, really nice. Another example of 14 is this other rope chain. It's a bit daintier. This is a 1.5 millimeter, and this one is from Hawaii Rope Chains. Now, what I'll say is I do love that I started with 14 karat, but I do not use my 14 karat pieces anymore, nor do I have 18 karat. Now, 18 karat is 75% gold purity. So that is usually a place where a lot of people stop they don't want to go over 18 karat because they really care about the finish of the gold chain and typically when you go over 18 karat the likelihood of your chain getting scratched up is more likely but what you have to remember is you're wearing it around your neck and unless you have a pendant that's always swinging from it it's going to be rare for it to be as scratched up. Me personally, I daily wear 22 karat and I really, really love it. It's not as soft, as malleable, as dainty as the internet would make you believe or your local jeweler here in the United States. When you go in other places like Asia, 22 karat, 23, 24, that is the standard. So anything underneath 18 karat, and this is coming from people that have DM'd me that work in Asia that live there. I think there's somebody that said that Sometimes if it's 14 and less, it's considered or 18 or less, it's considered fake gold because it doesn't have a certain amount. So there is a standard of having, you know, a higher purity in those countries. Whereas here in the States, some people, they've never seen it before. So they think that it's fake, you know, but for me, I really don't care much about what other people think. I like wearing what I enjoy. And if I know that, you know, for me, like this is a solid 22 karat piece, I could care less if someone passing by me thinks it's fake because I know the real deal about it, all right? So for me, I love 22 karat 
And let me just show you, besides the one on my neck, this is what I used to daily wear all the time. Now this is called a Franco. So this is a 1.7 millimeter, 22 carat solid gold Franco from Hawaii Rope Chains. And man, this thing, even though it's small in millimeters, it is such a durable chain. And now I'm gonna to talk to you about chain designs because you know, depend. it's all dependent on your personal preference, right? But if you're somebody that wants a durable chain, like you don't wanna worry about constantly fixing it on your neck. If it's not laying flat, you just wanna leave it on your neck and just go do your own thing and know that it looks good at all times then the Franco is a solid design to pull for. Absolutely. I love wearing this Franco. I haven't worn it ever since this one has come in. I was trying to two chain it, <coughs> excuse me, but they're both the same length and it wasn't looking as good. And for me, the heavy link is better as a solitaire chain, but man, absolutely no regrets. I love this thing. And am I still going to wear it in the future? Absolutely. This is just like a very subtle piece that is so noticeable. And like I said, very, very durable. So if you're going for durability, the Franco, I will say Franco's are typically more weighty than other pieces like the flat curb, the Mariner, the rope chain. So these are going to run you more money. So these are going to be a bit more, not a bit, they are going to be more expensive than your flatter links. Now, let me just take you to the rope chain real fast, okay? This 20, not 20, sorry, this 14 karat rope chain. Now, the reason I recommend rope chains for a lot of people's first beginner gold piece is because they look bigger than they actually are. If you put a three millimeter rope chain next to a three millimeter Miami Cuban link or even a three millimeter Franco, this, the rope chain will look bigger. Usually, if you compare a rope chain of any millimeter to another type of design, the rope chain just looks bigger because of that design. It really does pop out, or not pop out, it pop, yeah, it does pop out. It just, it, it stands out, you know what I mean? So this is just something that's amazing because even if you throw a pendant on it, it looks great. And this is probably the most popular design that I see, just like on a daily basis when I'm going out running errands, going to dinners, lunches, just looking around people's necks. The rope chain is very, very popular, at least here on the West Coast, you are gonna see a lot of this and all for a good reason. Now, of course, if you're somebody that already has an established collection, then the rope chain might be a bit too played out for you. You might be looking for something that brings, you know, that that's different. And that's kind of how I felt, which is why my daily wear right here is a heavy link it's also known as an hermes link let me see if i can kind of take it off i don't like taking it out just because for me i just i like wearing my chains all the time you know what i mean so let me see if i can get it and my hair is also another factor that makes it a bit harder and just so you know with all my solid pieces i wore them in the shower pools beaches jacuzzis it did not matter i never took them off my neck because you never have to worry about them fading you know so for me I just, I literally put them on and forget about them. And I just, I love that. I sleep with them as well. And it's not a problem. It doesn't like choke me. It doesn't make me itchy. Cause sometimes with like those plated pieces with those fake jewelry pieces, they can make you itchy. And with these, you're not going to get that. So this is my favorite chain of all time right here. This one is a solid 22 karat heavy link from Jacoji. Now this one is pricey. I think this one's 18 inches and it goes for over $3,400, but damn, like hopefully y'all can, can see that. But in the sunlight, I was wearing this black thermal, like a long sleeve thermal. And then I was wearing this with it and people were just like, damn, your chain looks nice. That looks really good. Like it's just so, so beautiful. So to me, if you're somebody that is, you know, you have an established collection and you just want a piece that is a standout piece, but it's still not super gaudy, like something you can wear on a daily basis that other people around you aren't wearing. Definitely look into the heavy link. And it's also known as the Hermes link in case you've probably heard it being called that. But what I love is it's similar to the Franco in a way that you just leave it on your neck and forget about it. The more you move around, the more active you are with this chain, the better it looks because as it catches light, it just like starts to, you know, it sparkles and it shines. You don't have to fix it. You don't have to make sure it lays a certain way. It just looks 
great. And this is something that would go with literally any of your outfits. So far, everything that I have shown you are perfect daily wear chains. Um, if you know what, let me show you this real fast. In case you're somebody looking for a dainty piece. If you're someone that's like, 22 carat is too low, I want a solid 24 carat necklace. The only solid one that I have here is this piece from Monet. I think this is their cable chain. Oh man, let me see. This is like a 2.5 millimeter. So it is small, mind you. Like in this video, these chains are smaller than they look in person, okay? Or like they look bigger on camera than they do in person. I hope y'all could see that. But I really did love this piece. I hardly use it. I might kind of swap it out with something else, to be honest, because I've been using the heavy link so much. But for like, especially for the ladies that have been kind of asking me, I want like a dainty piece that's going to be nice, something I can wear anytime, anywhere, wear it in the showers, pools, beaches, jac like jacogis, jacuzzis, <laughs> that chains from jacoji. But I would, I would suggest this. Like now this is kind of like a heavy link, but instead, or some people call it a rollo chain cable link. You know what I mean? It's, you could see it's like circular pieces kind of just attached to each other like that. And I did wear this and it looks nice around the neck. It really does. I'm not going to put it, maybe I should put it on. But honestly, here's the thing that pisses me off about this. I don't know if you could see it, but the end clasp, oh, I, I don't, I can't really see what y'all see because I'm using the back of my phone. So this might be blurry, but it's so tiny. The only thing that irritates me about this chain is the fact that it's hard to put it on because it has this tiny little loop you have to get it through. And on top of that, the clasp is just like made for ants. You know what I mean? So like when you try to like get it, it can, if you put on lotion, it's hell. It is very, very hard to just like put this on. But once you get it on, it's really nice. Like it is, it's really, really nice. So for all you looking for a solid 24 karat, that is an option as well. And I still stand by the fact that it's not as soft and malleable as you might think. Of course, let's say if you're getting a 24 karat Miami Cuban or a 24 karat flat curb where it has the flat surface, then yeah, the like, and you put a pendant on it, you might see more scratches on it the bigger the chain is on that surface area, which is why I said in the beginning, a lot of people stop at 18 karat if they're worried about scratches. Some people are paranoid with that and they want their chain to look as new as possible for the longest amount of time. So that's why they stop at 18. But don't think that 22 isn't as durable as, as 14, as 18, as 10. Like I said, I daily wear these. They have been perfect. I've worn them the same way I've worn my 14 karat. No, no difference. No difference except for to me, I like the color of the 22. A lot better now this is one of my verme pieces this was one of my very first gold chains when i finally got into it and i'm like yeah i want a cuban link i've heard so much about it and cuban links like rope chains are very very popular if you had to tell like if i had to tell you two of the most popular chains here in the west coast if you look on somebody's neck it's either gonna be the rope chain or the cuban link and this design is so classic and it is sexy and there's so many people that love this and I love it too. It was a great one to start with just to even get interested in chains. But the one thing that would irritate me about the Cuban link is the fact that sometimes it, it folds on your neck here. Let me kind of show you a little bit. You might not be able to see it in this video actually, but, and it kinks. You see that little kink right there? Again, this is not a solid piece, so it could be that, but there are people that own solid gold Miami Cubans and they will still kink and you might have to flip the link. Um, and that is just kind of what, you know, the price you pay for with the Cuban link. Now, people do the hang straight test. I'm not gonna do it in this video because, you know, this is a verme piece and I'm trying to show you what it looks like on neck if I shouldn't have put lotion on my hands before this video. Oh! I'll try it. Let's see. Okay. Whew. Now this is 20 inches. So I do not, I'm looking in the mirror right now. I don't daily wear 20 inches anymore just because they didn't have 18 inches at Jackson. That's where I got it from, from Jackson back in, I think May or April of this year. So it still looks good. It's not faded yet, but I haven't been daily wearing it. I will say the first couple months that I had this, I didn't take it off. Pools, beaches, 
Why do I keep saying Jacoji's? Jacuzzi's. This is because the Jacoji logo is right underneath the phone. But I loved this. I really, really did. And this is what really sparked my interest for wanting a solid piece. But then when I looked up solid gold Miami Cuban links, the price, like I just didn't see it in the thousands. You know what I mean? I was like, holy shit. It is a pricey chain, which is why I went for the rope chain because this was like $750 in comparison to like 1200, you know? So I'm like, you know what? For my very first chain, let's start with something that is also like was in my budget at the time and something that was still really pretty, you know? So the Miami Cuban for a while was like my dream chain. When I was getting started with the solid pieces, I'm like, my dream chain, my chain Mount Everest is going to be a Miami Cuban. And then I saw the heavy link and all that changed. But what I mean by the flip is sometimes when you're constantly moving, like the chain does not lay flat all the time. Sometimes like you'll have it kind of turn like this. And I will say that the one I have around my neck is a five millimeter. So it's five millimeters. And that is just what usually happens unless you have a heavier millimeter. Let's say if you have a seven and eight, the likelihood of it flipping isn't going to be as often like this one for example this is a seven millimeter miami cuban link from jackson and yeah this one did not flip or roll around as much as the five millimeter and i did daily wear this i'm not gonna lie and while i was daily wearing it i'm like yeah i can wear this every day it looks great but looking back on my videos with it i was like that's a little it was a, it looked a little bit gaudy on me you know looking back i was like ooh. I don't know if I was pulling that off the way that I thought I was, you know, I still love it and no regrets for wearing it. The thing is my girlfriend was like, oh yeah, no, the seven is fine. But like it, like still when I looked at it, like looked back at it, I was like, oh, you know what? It's a good thing I'm not wearing a seven millimeter Miami Cuban link. If I were to get a solid Cuban, I think I would go five, five millimeter, maybe even four, to be honest. Now, some people, are a fan of the box lock. Um, I have never owned a box lock Miami Cuban before. But for me, like I, I'm not hating on the lobster clasp. I do like the lobster clasp as well. Again, it all comes down to personal preference. And listen, I know I don't have like all the chain designs in the world right here, but just to kind of recap with you, let me just take this one off real fast. To recap, if you're going for durability, Franco's. I would easily say go for a Franco chain. They just, they're more boxy and they look great whenever, wherever. If you're somebody that is a beginner and you don't know what chain to get, I would say go for a rope. Rope chain, any millimeter. I would say three. Go for three. If you're torn between 2.5, 2, or 3, go up, okay? When you look at the 2.5 in person in comparison to the videos, you're going to be like, damn, I should have went up to the three. Trust me, this is a three right here. And I honestly feel like I could have gone bigger. Like I could have gone 3.5 if I wanted to. I could have gone four, you know, but this is still like, it was a really good everyday chain. And I've made videos on all of these separately and I've made update videos as well. So just check them out on my channel if you want to. But yes, for the, um, the beginners, rope chain. Now, if you're somebody that you want a solid gold piece, but they are a bit pricey and you're looking at what to get, then still you can go for solid gold, but go for like, you know, the 1.5, 1.7 millimeters. This is the 1.5 millimeter rope chain right here that you can just throw on with a pendant and it's a clean look. I've worn this to a lot of beaches before and it looks great. Now, the downside of the rope chain, in case I didn't mention it before, is that once it breaks, you can't repair it. It's just that type of design that it's like, oof, that sucks. You're gonna have to get another chain. You know, I've never broken a rope chain before. There have been kids that have tugged on it and it's been totally fine. But again, I would just say for durability purposes, I would go more for the Franco. If you like more of the design, then you can do this. But I feel like the more you get into chains, the more you start to enjoy the Franco. At least that's how it was for me. When I was first looking at gold jewelry, the rope chain and the Cuban link were the ones that caught my attention. And whenever I post a story on my Instagram of what's the sexiest chain, I'll always hear about the, like people, the regular people will vote on the Miami Cuban. They'll vote on the rope chain. And lately, actually, this has been a very sexy chain. People are really digging on the heavy link. And thankfully, because I love this shit a lot. But yeah, the more you get into jewelry, I think that the Franco starts 
to grow on you, you know? And the, yeah, that, that's what I'll say. And if you're somebody that wants something different, I would say the heavy link, if you want a heavier link than this, if you want a still a more unique design, even the Byzantine, look up the Byzantine. It's, yeah, it, it's not, it's definitely not something you see here in the States very often. So the safe choices, Miami Cuban, rope chain, durability, Franco's, if you want like a daintier chain, cable links, Rolo links like this. In terms of care, like, you know, what sort of carrot to get, I talked about that the, in the beginning, but I'm going to say it just has to go off your budget. Don't go over your budget, even if you love 22 carat, but you've got 14 carat money, then get the 14 carat. Or if you want to save up for that 22, you can do that as well. Um, any other things I should say? Maybe I'll do a video on this with silver jewelry as well. That is much more affordable than gold. Um, and you can get solid silver pieces that way. But yeah, in the comment section below, let me know what chain you're daily wearing, what your dream chain is, and any other question? No, I don't have any other, any other things to say. Anyways, hope you have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye.